the HX-54 passenger helicopter from Hills. This is by far the prettiest helicopter I've ever seen. How's it going everybody? Welcome to Mojo Grip. If you're new to the channel, my name is Mike. I'm a private pilot and I cover everything aviation related. Today we're gonna check out a brand new helicopter that's still in development. It's not out yet, but it's very promising. Uh, and it's from Hills, Hills Helicopter. This is a company uh, that designs and manufactures helicopter in the United Kingdom. And Hills is currently building two models of helicopters. The HX-50, which is the one we're gonna talk about in this video, and then they also have the HC-50, which is the certified version. So they have the experimental version, which again, they're using to bring this product to the market. And then eventually the goal is to have one that's certified, which will cost a bit more than the experimental. But the model we're focusing on in this video is the HX-50. Now, for a lot of you who follow this channel, you know that I've been just, just stepping my foot into choppers for a while here. Generally, I'm a fixed wing pilot and I get excited about airplanes, but when I go to shows and I see helicopters and also been in the pilot community, I've gone to meet several helicopter pilots. But I think one of the reasons why I was never really drawn to helicopters is similar to the same reason why, why airplanes is the fact that it just it feels like just a, a metal sheet uh, meaning like when you get into these flying machines there's not much to it you know you have the control sticks and then you have maybe two to four seats for the most part and we're also talking about civilian helicopters here and actually let me bring this this hx50 so you guys can see it as i'm talking about it the first thing that impresses me about this helicopter is just the cabin this is the most beautiful cabin that i've ever seen in a civilian helicopter and this is what hills is trying to change they're they're bringing luxury or some form of modern into the space. Now also the HX-50 is considered a light aircraft and this helicopter is designed to carry five people. So you have the pilot and then you can have up to four passengers and not just five seats as a lot of aircraft you find in the same class where you would have say five or six seats but really you can only carry three to four people. This aircraft will actually carry five people because the payload on it is 1760 pounds now we'll get to comparison in a little bit but i want to just tell you a bit more about it first now in the cabin let's let's get in this interior first i'm very big i'm an aesthetic guy i'm very big on having a nice cabin because as a pilot this is where you're going to spend most of your time right and you look in this cabin it just it looks very lush it looks clean and there's less cluster everywhere. Even look at the cockpit here, it's a nice glass cockpit and you won't find a lot of buttons. Now your legacy helicopters, they've stepped up their game with the interior design, but you still have a lot of buttons here and there. But you look at this cabin, it's just very, very clean. You can see everything is leather wrapped, even the control sticks of leather wrap, which it just, it makes it so beautiful. It's very car-like. When I look at this interior, it's, it looks more like a car interior. It doesn't even look like a helicopter interior. And so I'm very excited about this. Now we move to the outside and we check out the airframe. You look at this clean design here, very nice airframe, and you see what looks like a three-bladed rotor, and then you also have a rotor blade in the back. Something I actually find interesting here in the demo videos for this helicopter is, you see that the landing gear is deleted. Now, I've never really seen this before, particularly in the civilian or light aircraft or light helicopters category, and you can see the belly of this helicopter there's nothing there now my helicopter guys and pilots please leave your comments below and let me know if i'm if i'm shooting at the wrong thing here this looks to me like what we have in fixed wing aircraft with retractable landing gear now those things are not just there for looks they actually serve a purpose so i imagine that if we can see the belly of this thing it means also you have a nicer airflow so it makes it go faster or performance is better and now speaking of the performance this is where i believe this helicopter will knock 
everything else out of the park. Something I should have mentioned in the beginning is that the HX50 is gonna be powered by a turbine engine. They call it the GT50 or GTN50. I'm gonna leave it in the description below. Hills Helicopters is actually building their own engine because they can't really find anything that would power this helicopter so they're building their own and this engine supposedly will have up to 500 shaft horsepower that's the most in its class the only other helicopter i can compare this to is the robin c r66 very similar specs except as we move forward in this performance data you would see that the hx50 actually knocks out the r66 in just about every category you can think about. So the R66 from Robinson is also a four passenger aircraft. It's powered by a turbine engine, a Rolls Royce engine with 300 shaft horsepower. Now the HX50, 500. And the payload, as I mentioned in the HX50 is 1760. So 1,760 pounds. Guys, that's payload, not the useful load, meaning once you fuel up, you have full tanks in this helicopter, you can put up to 1,760 pounds to load up and go somewhere. Now in cruise, they're saying that the minimum cruise speed in this helicopter is 140 knots. That's nothing to sneeze at. And while you're cruising at that, you're burning 35 gallons of fuel per hour. For a turbine engine, that's actually economical. Now, this helicopter also has 700 nautical miles. Again, these numbers are just unreal to me for a civilian helicopter. And when we look at what it's very close to in the R66, it's you can't really compare it. So again, the R66 also a five person helicopter. You have a 300 horsepower engine and you only have 900 and some change for the payload. So already in the HX50, you can carry a lot more, up to a thousand more pounds than you will in the R66. And I believe the range in the HX50 is also nicely comparable, or even more than what you get in the R66. Now I'm saying R66 and you can probably go go this helicopter. We covered it actually on this channel before. R66, that's a million dollar helicopter. No matter how you try to slice and dice it, it's a million dollars you're gonna spend on an R66. Now, the price for the HX50, $550,000. About half the price, and you're getting more load, better performance, bigger engine, and you can probably travel further. And you have a nicer cabin, in my opinion. I've seen the R66 close and personal. It's a nice helicopter, but when I look at the images of this helicopter, the HX50, really, it's just nothing in its class that looks like that. And if it did, it's gonna cost you a lot more. Now, here's something we need to understand when it comes to pricing for underdeveloped aircraft. Okay, the pricing, changes or it will likely change by the time this thing comes to market i hate to say it so right now hx50 is priced at 550,000. although the company says this is the price to expect uh the helicopter whenever they actually have a flying prototype but chances are it's going to change and that's because particularly when it comes to experimental aircraft or even certified you have different components that will make up this entire helicopter and let's say sometimes it could take two years for something to come to market or in case of certification you could even take 10 years sometimes so however many years you have building this then then you have to factor in inflation you have to factor in whatever is happening in the market like for example we're still in the middle of a pandemic that's causing the pricing for things to go up because there's a shortage i imagine that by the time this helicopter comes to market which hopefully is very soon the price will likely change although they say it won't so i would probably keep a higher price in mind but even still you're still paying a fraction of what you would get for something that's already available right now in the Robinson or the Airbus's Bell. You can think of other helicopters in the same class. You will still get a better bank for your buck with the performance of the HX-50. Now, how can you find out more about this helicopter? You can check out hillshelicopters.com. 
they have all the info there also the video description i'm actually going to leave some numbers there so you guys can see for yourself i'm very excited about this even though i'm not a helicopter pilot maybe sometime in the future this might be something that i dabble in uh, but i just like to see some really cool stuff come to market i like to see innovation uh in smaller aircraft civilian aircraft and i think these guys are doing it well. So I hope to have an update on this helicopter soon. And for you to get that, you'd have to stay tuned. And please also subscribe with the notification bell on. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. I'd love to get your opinion. What do you guys think? Especially if you fly helicopters or you know a lot more about helicopters, please drop in the comments below. Again, my name is Mike. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you follow Mojo Grip on Facebook. We're on there. And also consider supporting the channel by becoming a patron you can check out the link in the description below until next time guys i will catch you on the next video peace